This is the story of Magical Key Component which is an investigational new drug application that unlocks the door to testing new medicines on humans. Welcome back to today's video. In this video, we'll dive deep into the backstory of the IND application. What an IND application is all about. Why it's so important and how the IND application is submitted. So let's get started by exploring the background of the IND application. Whenever a pharmaceutical company create or formulate a new medicine with the intention of bringing it to market, it has to undergo a rigorous process known as the drug development process. This process includes several crucial steps to ensure the new medicine is safe and effective before it can be made available in pharmacies. The drug development process consists of two main parts preclinical studies and clinical trials. During the preclinical study phase, the new medicine undergoes testing in animals such as mice or rats to see if it has any potential benefits or harms. While in the clinical trial phase, the new medicine is tested in humans. One of the key part in this drug development process is the clinical trial, where the new medicine is tested on humans to see how well it works and if it's safe to use. These clinical trials are conducted by pharmaceutical companies who have formulated this new medicine. The pharmaceutical companies are often the sponsors of the trials as well. Clinical trials are divided into different phases, like phase 1, phase 2, phase 3, and phase 4. Each phase has its own purpose and involves different numbers of people. So that's the quick background for today's topic. If you want to learn more about clinical trials and drug development process, feel free to check out the dedicated video I've created on the topic from i button above. Now let's delve into the main question, what is an investigational new drug application? After successfully completing the preclinical study phase and entering phase 1 of a clinical trial, the sponsor is required to test the new medicine on humans. To proceed with this crucial step, the sponsor must seek approval from the FDA, which is the government agency responsible for regulating food and drugs in the United States. The investigational new drug application serves as the formal request to the FDA for permission to conduct trials of these new medicine in humans. An investigational new drug application is a legal document that grants a sponsor the authority to test a new medicine in humans before it receives approval for sale in pharmacy stores by the FDA. The primary goal of an IND application is to ensure that the drug is reasonably safe and effective for its intended use and that the clinical trials are conducted in an ethical and scientifically sound manner. Before proceeding ahead, I kindly ask you to consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. It won't consume much of your time, but it's crucial for the growth of my YouTube channel. Now let's move ahead with our topic. Some of you might be wondering, why bother with the whole process of filing an IND application? Why is it even necessary to get FDA approval for testing new medicines on humans in clinical trials? Well, the thing is, an IND application is required by the Federal Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act, which is the main law overseeing food and drugs in the United States. This law basically says that any new medicine can't be moved or sold across state lines unless it's got an approved marketing application or an exemption from that rule. So, filing an IND application is how the sponsor of the clinical trial gets this exemption from the FDA. To put it simply, an IND application is like the key that unlocks the door to starting human trials for any new medicine. Without an IND application the sponsor isn't allowed to conduct clinical trials involving human subjects in the United States. For example, just recently, Elon Musk's Neuralink company received FDA approval to conduct human trials for a brain chip developed by his research team. If you're interested to know about this topic, you can check out the dedicated video on that topic after watching this one. I'll make sure to include a link in the description and the i button for you. Now, let's dive into the final question. What exactly do you need to include when you're submitting an IND application? Let's break it down. First off, an IND submission needs to cover three main areas. Animal pharmacology and toxicology studies, manufacturing information, and clinical protocols and investigator information. 
Animal pharmacology and toxicology studies provide crucial preclinical data to assess whether the drug is safe enough for initial testing in humans. This section also includes any previous experience with the drug in humans, like if it's been used in other countries. Next up, manufacturing information. This part describes all the nitty gritty details about how the drug is made, things like its composition, who makes it, how stable it is, and what controls are in place to ensure consistency. This is super important because it ensures that the sponsor can provide consistent batches of the drug for the clinical trials. And finally, we've got clinical protocols and investigator information. Here, we outline the proposed clinical studies that will evaluate the safety and effectiveness of the new medicine in humans. This section also includes info about the qualifications of the clinical investigators who will oversee the trials, plus, there are commitments to things like obtaining informed consent from the research subjects, getting the study reviewed by an institutional review board, and following all the investigational new drug regulations. Once the IND application is submitted, the sponsor has to wait for 30 calendar days before they can start any clinical trials. During this time, the FDA gets a chance to review the submission and make sure it's all safe and sound for the research subjects. And that brings us to the end of our discussion on investigational new drug applications. I hope you found it useful and informative. Please feel free to leave your comments below, letting me know what you liked or didn't like about the video. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos.